Yes, good evening everyone. Please turn on your video before we start the class. Okay. So this is one of the practice sheet for uh, triangles. We'll be solving this. Okay. Today we are going to solve uh, for the chapter triangles. Okay. Now over here, the line segment joining the midpoint. You can answer them if I am asking. The line segment joining the midpoints of the edges and sides of a quadrilateral forms what rhombus square parallelogram or rectangle you can answer in the chat box what will be the answer for the first question a line joining the midpoint of adjacent sides of any quadrilateral it will form what also try doing it if you make any quadrilateral i am not getting answer from anyone suppose if i am drawing any quadrilateral like this any kind of any 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 quadrilateral this is any quadrilateral i can say it is not even a kite or nothing right so if i take midpoints of all the this will be the midpoint this will be the midpoint the midpoint of this will be somewhere over here and this will be the midpoint fine see if you join all of them what happens Sir, it's almost forming a parallelogram. Yes. It is almost forming a parallelogram. So you need to remember this. Whenever we join all the midpoints of any quadrilateral, so what will have what it will become? It will always become a parallelogram. Clear? The next. You can also solve these questions. Okay, and give your answer. Now, in the equilateral triangle ABC, you can draw it. If AD is perpendicular to BC, then AD square is equal to what? You can answer. I'll give you one minute to solve. Kovar, you have you start you have started solving? Sure, done. done. Uh, but I can't answer in the chat. What you can't do? Sir, I can't answer in the chat. Means you can't uh, send. There is no option to send the chat. Okay. Uh, so, uh, ma'am, you are there. Manisha, ma'am, or Harsha, ma'am. Hello. Direction classes. Anyone is there? So, Kuvar, you are saying that you are unable to send the chat. Okay. Yes, sir. It is only a line to uh, send it to the host. Okay. There is only one option that is send to host. Yes, sir. Okay. I'll I'll drop the message. They will they'll see to it. Fine. If anyone has the answer, you can tell verbally tell. Since the chat option is not there. What you are getting as? Sir, uh, B. You are getting B. Okay. And you are getting A. Okay. And Nishi and Khushi, what about you? Sir, A. So, A. Okay. Okay, you are getting A only. Yeah. Fine. So, Kovar, see over here how to solve this question. What they have given in an equilateral triangle, right? It is an equilateral triangle like this. If AD is perpendicular to BC, if I say this is A and this is B and C, and if I say this is my AD, which is perpendicular to BC. If I say this is my AD perpendicular to BC, then they are asking what is AD square equals. We know that whenever perpendicular bisector, whenever we draw a perpendicular to an equilateral triangle, it gets divided into two equal sides. So if I say if this is AB, they are asking what is AD equals. By Pythagoras, what we know that is AD square can be written as AB square minus BD square. Yes or no? By Pythagoras. Yeah. Now what they are asking in terms of CD square. We know that AB is equals to half of, uh, AB equals twice of CD. Yeah. And BD will be equal to CD only. So this will be 4 CD square minus CD square, which gives you 3 CD square. So that's why your option A is the right answer. Clear? Yeah? Now the next. 
the next question is question number three in the triangle ABC point D is on the side AB and point E is on the side AC such that BC ED is a trapezium and if DE is to BC is 3 is to 5 then you have to find the ratio of their areas of the triangle and the trapezoid you can solve and give your answer in the chat box is the chat box has been uh, abled or not please check sir now the chat is enabled now the chat is enabled yeah you can send the chat then once you have completed so can you show how to solve yeah i will show it anyhow but first you can try then i'll show okay mahijit is giving has given the answer we'll see to it whether his answer is right rest of you also can solve and give the answer okay now see over here how to solve this question i'll, I'll do it now over here triangle abc point d is on the side ab okay we can say if i say this is my triangle abc if i say this is my triangle abc and uh, point d is on the side ab okay so that means the triangle is like this we can say if this is a b and c point d is on the side ab and point e is on the side ac such that bced is a trapezium now bced will be trapezium when when these two lines are parallel yes or no it will be trapezium only when these two lines are parallel so that means even if they did not give it is parallel so we can consider that these two lines are parallel how we can consider because they have given it is a trapezium that's why because in the trapezium upper one pair of opposite side will be parallel okay now if they have given de is to bc that means the ratio of de is to bc de is to bc is how much 3 is to 5 that means this de and this bc then you have to find area of triangle area of triangle ade upon area of quadrilateral or you can say area of trapezium area of trapezium bced you have to find the ratio of this fine now to find the answer okay kuwar has also given the answer uh yes cover your answer is right can you tell how you have solved it cover verbally can you tell me sir the uh, ratio of area of triangles is 9 is to 25 okay uh, but the trapezium is a part of the triangle so i just subtracted 9 uh, 9 from 25 okay so nine perfect five. perfect perfect very good that's right now over here area of triangle ad we can if i want to find area of triangle ade upon abc area of triangle ade upon area of triangle abc see these two triangles will be similar to each other we know it these two triangles will be similar now if the two triangles are similar we can say it is uh, equal to what square of any two sides any two corresponding sides the ratio of Sir, area area of first triangle upon area of second triangle equals um, means we can say side, de side upon side bc the whole square ratio of their side square corresponding side square i know what is the value of de and bc that is 3 and 5 so it will be 3 upon 5 the whole square which gives me 9 upon 25 now they are in the ratio can i say area of triangle ad is 9 square units can i say that ADE is 9 square units. Can I say this? Yes or no? Yes, sir. How many of you are saying yes? Mahijit, Kovar and Nishi, what do you say? Can I say that the area of triangle oh. AD? Sir, because it's of uh, ratio 9 is 25. It doesn't say it's 9. 10. Perfect. Yeah. Very good. It does not mean it will be a 9 square units. Okay. We cannot say this. But we can say it will be 9x square units right we can say it is 9x square units and area of tr uh, this uh, triangle abc will be also 25x square units 
okay it will be 25 x and this will be 9 x we don't know what is the value of x because we have only the ratio of them right now what will be got area of bd bced area of quadrilateral b c e d will be equal to area of large triangle minus area of small triangle area of this triangle minus area of this triangle will give you the area of trapezium right so that is 25 x minus 9 x that is that gives you 16 x so area of triangle upon area of this quadrilateral will be area of triangle is how much that is 9 x 9 x upon 16 x so this x and x gets cancelled answer is 9 is to 16 that is your option d is this clear yeah yes, okay fine now i'll give you the next problem to solve this is an easy problem this question number fourth you can solve and give your answer in the chat box please try solving other than this do you have any ready questions in doubt for the chapter triangles you can ask then i can solve them also if you have you can ask them see how we can solve this question these two lines are given parallel because they have given the arrows if these two lines are parallel what i can say this angle will be equal to this angle and this angle will be equal to this angle also this angle will be equal to this angle because these both are vertically opposite this green angle is alternate angles and this orange angle is also alternate angles so what i can say that is triangle apb is similar to triangle cpd yes or no can i say this if the two triangles are similar then the corresponding sides are proportional what i can say ap upon cp will be equal to pb upon pd will be equal to ab upon cd now whatever values you have you can enter them see i have the value of uh, i don't have the value of ap this is what you need to find and uh, dp dp you have it pb you do not have it ab you have it cd you have it cp you have it so i can use this two equation to get the value of ap so what i can write ap upon cp will be equal to ab upon cd the value of ap is to be found cp value is 7.5 ab is 4 and cd is 6 so ap will be equal to 4 into 7.5 by 6 yeah so two twos are two threes are three uh twos are six three fives are fifteen two point five two into two point five is five so answer is five is that clear please try solving this it is not it should be nine is to one the answer is 9 is to 1 and 9 is to 1 can be written as 9 the ratio of these two areas you want me to solve this you can tell if you want i will solve it sorry about it i did some silly mistake actually. okay 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 fine i did triangle bca upon pq okay in the given figure ab is parallel to dc then the value of ap is equal to this is almost the same kind of question yeah please solve this question number seven see how to solve this question this type of question see whenever there is one right angle already and if i draw another line which is also perpendicular to the opposite side at that time there is a, there, something happens between the similarity if anyone knows you can answer what happens the hypotenuse gets divided into two parts that is fine but what happens exactly no that's not the answer see at that time what happens is this triangle will be similar to this triangle also this small triangle will be similar to the whole triangle and also this triangle will be similar to the whole triangle but how how is that why because see 
if i say in triangle abc if i say in triangle you can say bac in triangle bac and triangle bac and adc right what i can say angle bac will be equal to angle adc why because both are 90 degree yeah and angle c is common for both of them since two angles are equal we can say that the two triangles are similar by aa criteria of similarity right what we can say therefore since angle c is common yeah so what i can say therefore triangle bac is similar to triangle adc by aa test of similarity yes or no i can say this now after this similarly this triangle also we can prove similar that this triangle is similar to the whole triangle now if this triangle is if this triangle is similar to the whole triangle and this triangle is similar to the whole triangle that means these two triangles are also similar to each other yes or no these two triangles are also similar to each other now if these two triangles are similar to each other what relation i can make also if triangle bac is similar to triangle adc now what all relations they have bc into cd bc into cd is equals to bc square bd into cd is equals to ad square ab into ac to ac is equals to bc square this cannot be true in any way and ab into ac is equals to ad square fine let us do now what we know triangle bac is similar to triangle adc also similarly triangle a b b a c triangle b a c will also be similar to triangle we have taken a d c no b d a yeah these two triangles will also be similar triangle b a c will be similar to triangle b d a why because angle b is common and angle d is 90 and this is also 90 okay what we will get these two triangles are also similar so with 1 and 2 what we get triangle BAC similar to this triangle BAC similar to this what I can say triangle ADC similar to triangle BDA triangle ADC is similar to triangle BDA I can say this also yeah from 1 and 2 so if these two triangles are similar then what I can say AD upon BD will be equal to DC upon DA will be equal to AC upon AB yeah now is there anything common dc bd ac dc ab ad 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 is common Sir, AD is yeah, common. yeah if you take this equation what i can say ad into ad that is ad square will be equal to bd into dc i can see this yes, ad sir. square is equals to bd into dc i am getting that no so this statement is there understood is that clear please try to solve question number eight okay they have said triangle abc is similar to dfe they have given this right if angle a is 30 degree so this will also be 30 degree angle c is 50 degree so this will also be 50 degree ab is 5 i cannot write this as 5 because the angles are equal the sides are not equal ac is 8 df is 7.5 then which of the following is true yeah now see if this is 30 and this is 50 this will be how much 110 if this is 110 this will also be 110 what they have given angle f oh wait 30 and 10 i think this is by mistake it should be angle d is cannot be 100 
angle F cannot be 50 also now let us find I think there is some print mistake over here it cannot be 10 it should be 110 okay there should be a 110 at one of the one of the place okay also wait 30 oh it is 100 only sorry it, it will be 100 only this will not be 110 because 30 plus 50 is 80 no so this will be 100 yeah this will be 100 now after this we need to find D E E F D E or E F D E or E F we need to find see if this is 5 and this is 7.5 these two triangles are similar no so what I can say A B upon D F will be equal to A C upon D E will be equal to B C upon F E what all values I have I have the values for A B I have the values for D F that is 7.5 and the value which I need to find uh, A C is 8 upon DE which I don't know and is equals to BC which I don't know and FE that also I don't know I can get the value of DE so DE will be equal to 8 into 7.5 upon 5 12 centimeter yeah 5 ones are 5 2 8 into 1.2 sorry 8 into 5 8 5 is are right so 8 plus 4 that is 12 so answer is 12 so the answer for this question is the value of uh, DE is 12 and angle F is 120 is that clear sir, I got the same answer. you got the same answer very good now the next question Triangle ABC such that AB and PQ, this is the same kind of, don't solve it. What will the length of hypotenuse of an isosceles triangle whose one of the side is? Yeah, please try to solve question number 10. Perfect. Yes, uh, Nishi, your answer is right. Kuwar and Mahijit, yeah, all of you, your answer is right. Perfect. So, no need to solve this question. Now, the next now there are uh, this co this this are different kind of questions where there is one assertion and when is reason for this for the same is given you have to check whether the assertion is see there will be options like this a b c d both a and r are true that means the assertion and the reason both are true and r is correct explanation of a means r the reason should be the correct explanation for the reason for the assertion okay and there is even like this both a and r are true but r is not the correct explanation of a or it it can be like this a is true but r is false or it can be a is false or r is true r means reason and a means assertion okay now you have to solve for question number 11 and tell me which one will be the answer of this a b c or d yeah, sir. yeah sir i think so a will be the answer okay you think so okay Sir, actually, I have a little doubt in the reason part. Then, is I think so, telling something different. It, yeah. Now, it's, it's telling us to like find the Pythagoras theorem for an isosceles triangle, but it is telling what is the hypotenuse. Of the it is the over here in a triangle square of one side is equal to the sum of the square of the other sides. Then the angle opposite the first side is a right angle. Yeah. That is fine. This is the Pythagoras theorem they have explained, right? But over here, it is something related to isosceles triangle. But in the isosceles triangle, this happens. Uh, in an isosceles triangle, right angle at C. If an isosceles triangle, right angle at C. If this angle is C, and this is A, B, and C. Then what I can say, AB square will be equal to AC square plus BC square. But then I can say AB square equals to AC square. Why? Because AC and BC both are same. So this is true and this is also true. But this is not the correct explanation for the assertion, right? The reason which they have given is not the correct explanation. What we can say, both A and R are true, but R is not the correct explanation of A. So therefore, for this, the answer is B. Got it? The reason which they have given, that is not the correct explanation for the assertion which they have given right now the next okay sir, in assertion, it's not given 
is it right angle at A or it is at C or it is at B? Yeah, so, but it can be. Is it true or not? How you will check? See, if triangle ABC they have given, we don't know what where it is right angle. If I say this is A, B and C, they have given AB is 24, BC is 7 and AC is 25. And triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. See, the, the greatest side will be always be the hypotenuse. So, if this square plus this square equals this square, then we can say this is what? right angle so you can check for that what is 24 square plus 7 square if it is equals to 25 square then we can say the triangle abc is a right angle sir it is it will be um 576 plus 49 which will give us 625 yes that means the first statement is true sir i think so it will be option b both a and r are true but r is not the correct explanation okay the ratio of area of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. That is completely true. But this, there is no relation between both of them. So what we can say, both A and R are true, but R is not the correct explanation of A. So the answer for this will be B. Understood? Yes, Kuwar and Nishi. Yes. Yes, okay. The next question. Fine. See over here, I am not getting answer from rest of the two students. I will solve it. What they have given? Triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, DE is parallel to BC. That means it is this kind of triangle where this will be DE and this will be ABC. Right? In this kind of triangle, what happens? Over here, they have given AD is 7x minus 4. This is 7x minus 4. AE is 5x minus 2. Then DB is... 3x plus 4 and then EC is 3x right if DE is parallel to BC what we can say AD upon DB will be equal to AE upon EC what I can say AD upon DB will be equal to AE upon EC so if I solve it that is 7x minus 4 upon 3x plus 4 will be equal to AE that is 5x minus 2 upon EC that is 3x what I will do, I will do the cross multiplication. 3x into 7x minus 4 <coughs> is equals to 3x plus 4 into 5x minus 2. Find 3x into 3 7s are 21x square. 3 4s are 12x equals 3x <coughs> into 5x minus 2 plus 4 into 5x minus 2. So 21x square minus 12x will be equal to 3 5s are 15x square minus 6x plus 20x minus 8. Okay. So 21x square minus 15x square will be how much? Uh, 21 minus 15 that is 6x square minus 12x 20 minus 6 is how much? 14. 14 and this minus 12 and minus 14 minus uh, 14 minus 26 x square minus 26 x this is minus 8 if this comes on this side it will be plus 8 equals 0 yes or no you can cancel in the table of 2 so it will be 3 x square minus 13 x 3 x square minus 13 x plus 4 will be equal to 0 now we have to solve this quadratic equation the sum and product required. The sum required is minus 13 and the product required is 12. So the two numbers are 12 and 1, minus 12 and minus 1. Right? So this will be 3x square minus 12x minus x plus 4 equals 0. In this both, 3x is common. So it will be x minus 4. In this both, plus 1, you can say minus 1 is common. Then again, it will be x minus 4 will be equal to 0. So 3x minus 1 and x minus 4 will be equal to 0. So x will be equal to 4 or x will be equal to 1 by 3. This could be the two answers. Right? Will not take the fraction part. Why? It, it is equal to both of them. Now what they have given? Then x is equal to 5 they have given. Is it equal to 5? Anywhere? It is not equal to 5. That means the first statement is also is the only false one.
okay after that if a line is drawn parallel to one side of the triangle to intersect the other two sides in a distant point then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio that is true that is explaining the above condition only right so what we can say this is true that means assertion is false but r is true so we can get is it clear yes kuwar yes sir okay now please solve the next question i'll be giving it to you sir for 14 it will be a means both are true yes sir and okay. r is the correct explanation okay that's right the option for the first one it did it will be a Kuwar, you are there in the class. Yeah. Yes, sir. What will be the answer for fifteenth? Uh, sir, fifteenth. Sir, can you show the options? I forgot the options. Okay, okay, fine. I think B. B. Perfect. That's right. Perfect. Sir, uh, question in uh, question fourteen. Yeah. It is not written in assertion that those two triangles are similar. Yeah, the ratio of area of two similar triangle is same as the ratio of the square of their corresponding medians or angle bisector or altitude. Yes, it is true. It is true. When the two triangles are similar, then their <coughs> corresponding medians, corresponding altitudes, or corresponding bisectors. The ratio uh, taking. You are, okay. achha, you are asking about assertion. If the area of two triangles are this, the ratio of the corresponding medians or angle bisector altitudes will be equal to this. You want to know about this? Why it is like this? Sir, uh, but it is not written that they are similar. The ratio of their correspond. Achha, if the area of two triangle is this, the ratio of their corresponding medians or angle bisector altitudes or sides will be five is to eight. Yes, exactly. It is not given that the triangles are similar, so we cannot see this. Perfect. Yeah, they should have given if two triangles are similar and their areas are like this, then it will be true. But since they have not given that two triangles are similar, we cannot consider that. So that means R is true and A is false. Fine for the fourteenth question. Next. Now over here, what they have given, a model of boat is made in the scale factor of one is to four. Fine. This is case-based question. <coughs> the model is one twenty centimeter long. The full size of the boat has a width of sixty centimeter. What is the width of the scale model? Means the model has to be made in one is to four. That means if you are making a uh, model of a of that ship, right? If this will be the model of the ship. Okay, and this is the actual ship. Okay, this is the actual ship. Fine, and you are making the model of this ship. The ratio of them will be if this is one, this will be four, right? What they have said, the model is one twenty centimeter long. The full size of the boat has a width of sixty centimeter. What is the width of the scale model? The width of the boat is how much? Sixty centimeter. So what will be the width of the scale model? What will be the width of this? If this is sixty. Then what will be the width of this? Four. What? Sir, we will multiply sixty into four because it is in the ratio one is to four. It will divide with four because they have given the full size of the boat has a width of sixty. The boat width is sixty. So what will be the width width of the scale model? Fifteen. Fifteen. It will be. Yeah. Next. Yeah. If I say for the question number eighteenth, if two triangles are similar, having a scale factor of A is to B, which statement regarding the two triangle is true? I think over here the question is incorrect. If two triangles have a scale factor of A is to B, then the scale factor for <coughs> for their altitudes or for their angle bisector it will be under root of A upon B. 
the question is incorrect you can ignore it so that if the d option would have been area then we could have marked yes yes the the option the the question is incorrect over here you can ignore it next the shadow of a stick 5 meter long is 2 meter at the same time the shadow of a tree 12.5 meter high is will be what yeah mahijit and kuwar yeah you are both both of you are given the right answer the answer is d the next this is a case based question again <coughs> see i'll solve it <coughs> below you see a student's mathematical model of a farmhouse roof with measurements the attic floor that is abcd in the model is a square that is this a b c d yes sir edges of the prism means the all the borders of the prism right yeah this this edges this are the edges of the prism this can also be the edges of the prism yeah a b c d is a square a b c d is the model is a square the beam that supports the roof are edges of the rectangular prism the beam that supports the roof are the edges of the rectangular rectangular prism okay rectangular prism e f g h k l m n so e f will be the midpoint of the triangle e is the middle of at yes and uh, f is the middle of bt it means this all are the midpoints of all this triangle all the edges of the pyramid in the model have a length of all the edges of the pyramid in the model have a length of 12 means all the lengths are 12 for the pyramid means this is 12 this is also 12 this is also 12 this is also 12 all the edges are 12 what is the length of ef where is ef the ef is over here what will be this length See if this is twelve, this is half of the whole, so this will also be the half of this. So answer is six. By similarity triangles, yeah, this triangle will be similar to the whole triangle, no? And that's it. Now, do you have any personally? Do you have any questions in the in the chapter triangles? We have solved one practice sheet. Do you have any questions with you so that you want me to solve that question over here? So actually, for triangles, I don't have any kind of extra questions with me. Yeah. Fine. I'll take some few few more types of question on the screen. Just a moment. Okay. Let us try solving these questions. <clears throat> yeah, Kuwar, you are there. Okay. Now the first question. What they are saying? In the triangle ABC, AD is the height and BC is the base. In triangle PQS, PS is the height and QR is the base. Then area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR will be what? This is very easy. Area of triangle ABC will be BC into AD. BC into AD over here. And area of triangle PQR will be QR into PS. QR into PS. The option is B. clear very easy question yes sir yeah the next <clears throat> you can answer this question yes what will the ratio of their areas see base of a triangle yeah sir it will be oh, i guess what it will be 9 square divided by 6 square 81 upon no, no. 36 you don't have to use because over here they have not given the two triangles are similar you why you are using that the two triangles are not similar over here so what you can do you have to find the area so area of the first triangle will be base into height 9 into 5 and the area of the other triangle will be base into height again 10 into 6 just solve this no 32s are 33s are so answer is 3 by 4 There is no requirement of similarity of triangles so in this. Area of 
sir area of two triangles should be half into b center yeah but the half will get cancelled no in both the cases yeah two two by two got it <coughs> next problem <coughs> what will be the answer for this sir b you are saying b it yes, is sir, not i am also saying b see when you have two triangle two two parallel lines if you have two parallel lines like this okay if you have two parallel lines like this and suppose if this is the base okay and this is one triangle okay and there is another triangle like this with same base and there is one more triangle like this there are three, three different three. triangles i have drawn what will be the area of orange what will the relation between the area of this orange triangle the area of this blue triangle and the area of this yellow triangle what will the relation between the area of all the triangles 1:1 they all will be equal sir because the base is the same the base will be if i say this is bc the base is bc always and the height is always the same the perpendicular distance between the edge so what we will get the area of all the triangles will be same so over here also what you have one they once they have given abc and another time they have given dbc so the area of both the triangles will be same because the height will be same in both the case and base is also same so area of the triangle will be in the ratio 1 is to 1 got it understood yeah next fine let me solve the question what they have given in the figure pm is 20 triangle pqs has the area 100 square units fine triangle qrs 65 then nr is equals to how much okay triangle pqs has the area so we can find what is the base of qs the base of qs will be um, 15 into area of triangle pqs will be so equal to half into like that property right if the two triangles are similar then the but base over is here there is no condition of similarity they have not given the two triangles are similar right what we know area of triangle pqs if i want to find half into base into height the area of triangle they have given 100 half into qs qs is how much we don't know but pm we know that is 20 so this gets divided 10 so finally qs equals how much 10 yeah also area of triangle qrs is 65 again area of what is what will be the formula for area of triangle qrs will be again half into base into height and the height now is nr right area of triangle qrs is how much they have given that is 65 65 equals half into qs that is 10 into nr so this two phi's are nr will be equal to 65 divided by 5 that gives you 13 so answer for this question will be option but D. i also got the answer same like yeah but you have considered the two triangles are similar which is not given they did not give you that the two triangles are similar okay yeah can you solve question number 5 you have given but it's not see over here in triangle abc if i say if i enlarge this triangle see if i enlarge this triangle okay if i draw any line which is perpendicular to the base this will be the height of triangle abd also the height of triangle adc will also be this ap will be the height for both of them 
या एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी डी अपॉन एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए डी सी देर सिंह एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी डी अपॉन एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए डी सी फॉर एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी डी वॉट वी विल डू हाफ इंटू बेस इंटू हाइट बेस इज बी डी एंड हाइट इज ए पी ऑल्सो एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए डी सी विल बी अगेन हाफ इंटू बेस इंटू हाइट द बेस इज डी सी एंड द हाइट इज ए पी अगेन so what we get ap ap cancel half half get cancel the answer is bd upon dc only what is bd 7 what is dc that is 20 so answer is 7 by 20 got it sir dc is 20 dc is 13 oh 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 bc is yeah dc is 13 yeah sorry so it will be the answer will be 13 <coughs> yeah if this bc is 20 then dc is 13 So it will be seven by thirteen. So this is not the right answer. Seven by thirteen, yeah, this one. Okay, okay, okay. Mahijit and okay, you have given the right answer. Okay, you have solved in this way only. Yeah. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Now the next problem. Just a moment. This is very easy. What they have given? PM is fifteen. PQ is twenty five. So if PQ is twenty five, then this will be ten. And NR is eight. Then NM is parallel to RQ. They have given the length of the side PR will be how much? So what we know that PR. So we can take NP as x. So x upon eight equals fifteen by ten. Yes, x upon eight will be equal to fifteen by ten. So x will be equal to fifteen into eight by ten. So five two zero five three zero. Two four zero. So x equals twelve. So this is twelve. So twelve plus eight is twenty. So the answer will be twenty in this case. Fine. So over here we are done for today. We'll continue in the next class. Okay. And you want to do the revision of the triangle? We'll be starting with the circles in the next class. Area related to circles. Okay, sir. Yeah, for the revision part. Okay. So then, bye.